and here we are from Egypt, where we got the Pharaohs and the Pegasi ready for a dog fight of a matchup, man. This one's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a good one. It's week eight of the CWSFL. We got the Around the World Sports Network crew here uh, to give you this great game, man, and both teams fighting for that. Uh, honestly, it's probably going to end up being the last spot in the playoffs. So they're both fighting for that sixth seed. Um, both got two wins coming into today. Looking to see who's going to get the third and who's going to be that team that can uh, get that edge going into the final two weeks. Uh, trying to secure the sixth spot in the playoffs. Pharaohs missed the playoffs for the first time last year in franchise history. They're not trying to make this two years in a row and make this a reoccurring thing. They don't want the franchise. They don't want the players knowing this is something that they do. Pegasi. Well, playoffs is not something they're used to. So, uh, with new new owner and GM Jamari Woods now in there, they're hoping that this can now be uh, a new thing for them. Uh, but we'll see how it, how it goes. Let's head down to the field, though, because, you know, the coin toss is happening, and we don't want to miss who's getting ball first. But you look at that, the Pharaohs are going to start off with the ball. Or, or the Pharaohs are going to kick first, and the Pegasi are going to start off with the ball. Wow, we get to see Kyle White in this offense. Ooh, Rock Solid was flying down there. You see him moving like that? Wow. Uh oh. It's going to be a fourth down here early now for the Pegasi. Fourth and four. Now it's going to be Tom Brady Jr. who gets to come out on offense. And, uh, oh, man, what a nasty spin move. Not sure if he needed it, though. I think he could have just kept running straight down the sideline. But Tom Brady Jr. in this offense is going to come out at the 38. And everybody wants to see the matchup between Jamari Woods and Damian Ferris Johnson. Tommy Eichenberg with the two yard tackle for loss. Coming from Ohio State all the way to the CWSFL. Third down now. Ooh. And look at that. Both teams are going to have to punt on their uh, their first drives. Oh, Kyle White. He is eventually chased down uh, by Jay Ruga. But it doesn't matter. Kyle White, 53 yards down the sideline to put this team in a position uh, at the 12-yard line. Oh, 
Oh, he had it. He had that. Wow. Oh, look at that big P in the end zone on the first catch for an 11 yard run. Pegasi lead this thing 7 to 0 uh, with 126 left to go here in the first quarter. Whoo! Jay Sean Blakely. Wow. My oh my. 65. Minute left now in the first quarter, and they are. Look at that. It just just how quick it was they're now inside the 10 yard line and herb collins a 10 yard run up the middle trust in herb still as strong as ever and he gets the the pharaohs on the board to tie this thing up um now at seven apiece because eugene harrison comes out and puts it right through What a game we got on our hands here. French Montana comes up with a 17-yard catch. First down there, Kyle White. Trying to have a big game today after um, after a, a rough one last week. That'll do it for our first quarter. Now we are up to five minutes remaining here in this first half. Seven to seven. Kyle White is looking to try to fix that. Wow. They give him the dingleberry spot. Coming up short. Dang, Tremont, two-yard loss. Coming over from the East Division, joining the Pharaohs this offseason from the Polar Bears. French Montana said, uh, slide. Got the two-yard catch. Wow, Herb Collins has got a shot up the middle. Mm. Herb for 31.
29 yard catch. And it's in the end zone. <laughs> That's some nasty work right there. Kyle White, 17 yards. Pegasi are out of that danger zone back there. Under two minutes now before the half, Pegasi are leading 14 to 7. Ooh, Kyle White. That was nasty. Wow. Wow. Ooh, cow white. Wow. Pharaoh's defender whipped on that. Was able to give him positive yards. Ooh. Wow, final play before the half is a big one to Damian Paris Johnson over the top of Jamari Woods for a gain of 42. Man, this was a crazy first half, though, that we had. Um, dominated, though, by the Pegasi. Kyle White did his thing over 200 yards rushing. Uh, didn't get in the end zone, though, but he led them all the way to the goal line every time. And then, then they were able to, to punch it in with a with a nice pass. But, man, this was whew, uh, this was a Pegasi first quarter or a first half as it is a 21-7 lead by them. Like I said, this game is a battle for that. Right now, that last spot in the playoffs, 
We're going to see, though, uh, who's going to be able to take control here in the second half. As the Pharaohs start off with the ball, so they got to get something moving on offense. Tom Brady Jr. has to start figuring things out. There you go. There you go. Great play to get the get the the opening second half drive started. Whoo! Damian Paris Johnson, forty yards on the very next play for a touchdown. Look at that. There you go, Damian. Wow. They go for two and Herb Collins gets it. Twenty one to fifteen. Uh in the third quarter now. Ooh, tight end picks up 31. Wow. Big stop right there on second and seven. Make it a third and eight now, and that's huge. Oh, Kyle White gets in the end zone. Look at that. Now he adds a touchdown to this uh, dominant game. Wow, Herb gets 11. There he is. Has a McBot wide open for a gain of 39, and they're in a first and goal situation. What? Marked him at the 11. Boo. There it is, though. Jay Sean Blakely. Over the middle, 12 yards, 3 for 75, and a touchdown now today.
Ooh, rock solid. Dang. Kyle White is just bobbing and weaving his way into a huge game. Ooh. Kyle White, 39 yards. He's over 300 now on just 20 rushes, but only has one touchdown right now to go with it. It's at the three-yard line, though. You got to think they're just going to give it right back to him here. Crunch Montana with the score, and the Pegasi have taken uh, this lead and extended it even more.
There it is. They mean Paris Johnson. Well, it's 42 to 36 with a minute 09 left. Can the Paros find a way? they throwing it wow that right there has to do it down it's tough cuz under 30 seconds rock solid comes up with the stop Final play of the game was a punt and the man back deep. The returner didn't even try to return it. Let it go over his head. Pegasi win this one on the road 42 to 36 over the Pharaohs. And man, was this a was this a game? But it seemed like the Pharaohs were or the Pegasi stayed in control the whole time. That's Kyle White's your player of the game. 23 rushes, 322 yards, one touchdown, two receptions, 21 yards, 68 return yards. Pegasi, man, they they stayed in control in this one. They did their thing. They went at 42 to 36 because um, they were they were on a roll out there today. Um, L was 16 for 21, 190, and five touchdowns. Peyton was three for 40, 41, and a touchdown. French Montana, 9 for 76 and 4 touchdowns. Big DR had a 2 for 52. Kyle White played a game. Uh, Jamari Woods had 4 tackles. Tommy Eichenberg had a tackle for loss. 
Tom Brady Jr., 24 for 28, 459 yards, four touchdowns. Damian Paris Johnson, 12 for 193, two touchdowns. Sean Blakely, four for 100, one, uh, one touchdown. Lester was two for nine, uh, two for 39 and a touchdown. Herbo was uh, 22 receiving yards, 52 uh, rushing yards and a touchdown. Defensively, though, um, or uh, defensively, uh, H-Man had six tackles. Rockside had 12 tackles, two tackles for loss. j Reg had four tackles. Uh, Jared Kendall had four tackles for loss. But, man, Pegasi found a way to get it done on the road. Win this thing 42-36. to They get that third win of the season. And they do it in good fashion because they stayed in control pretty much the entire game, even though it was a, a one-touchdown game. Uh, but, man, they find a way. They got it done. This is a great second game of Week 8 of the CWSFL. We cannot wait, though, for y'all to watch these next three games because they're going to be a lot of fun. Um, and we'll see y'all there.